Hi, my name is Josh and this is Marisol. We're from the School for International Expedition Training and today we're going to talk about anchor building and we're going to focus on slingcraft. And slingcraft is basically the art of bringing slings and other soft goods together to make one focal point or a master point that you can work off of. We use a handy acronym that we call STRADS, and we basically use this as a checklist to help us assess our anchors with. And STRADS stands for solid, timely, redundant, angle, distribution of the load, and simple. The first anchor that we're going to talk about is what we call the W. It's a classic, tried and true, trad or traditional anchor. So I'm going to build that with my cordelette. I'll start by clipping my first piece and then adding a clove hitch here just to keep my knot out of the way. Clip all three pieces, <clears throat> pull the strands in the middle. equalize my pieces and then add a master point either with an overhand or a figure eight in the direction of travel of my climber. Okay, so talking pros and cons here for a minute, it has a nice clear master point that I can clip into. It's very easy to visually inspect and it has a clear redundant shelf that I can belay off of. Cons include the fact that this uses a lot of material and takes longer to both build and break down. Uh, additionally, many people refer to this as a pre-equalized anchor as opposed to a self-equalizing anchor. Uh, there's a significant amount of research that shows that in this system, the pieces are never truly equalized. Okay, another great way to build a three-piece anchor is with a double-length sling. This is a 120 centimeter sling, and I clip one end in close to the bar tack and put a clove hitch in there, and then put another clove hitch into my next piece, like so. Make sure there's a little bit of slack in between the two, and then take the end of the loop and clip it to my strongest piece here and then pull them all down like so, and then put in a knot in here, an eight or an overhand. And with this configuration, you're able to build a anchor with just one double length sling. Whereas if we tried to make the W anchor with this double length sling, we would not have enough material. The pros to this are that it's materially very efficient. Um, you can play with your equalization and adjust the equalization a little bit at the clove hitches fairly easily by adjusting each clove hitch here. There's also a shelf to clip into. The cons include that a lot of people will not recognize this anchor. Um, they might not be able to double check it as easily for you. Another con for some people is that it's hard to tell where exactly to clip into the shelf. It's important that you clip this loop here and this triangle here, like so. And that you don't just clip into the middle, like so. Because if one piece comes out, you're gone. If you're using this shelf, properly with this one. It's of the utmost importance that you have a locking carabiner at the end so that the knot does not roll off the end of this slippery material.
For our last anchor system, I'm gonna combine the quad with a magic X. So I'll start with the magic X or sliding X. So I'll clip a single length sling into my first two pieces and build my X. And then add my quad into the system. And then clip through two as my master point. So it's important to note here that if I've got 100% of my load coming off my master point, then I've got 50% of that load on this piece here, 50% coming up to my hot point, and then 25 and 25. So if 50% of my load is on this one piece, then I want this to be my most solid, strongest piece. So if we talk about pros, the material is very light. Uh, it is fast to set up and deconstruct, and it distributes the load better than a so-called pre-equalized anchor. Uh, like the W, which we initially looked at. One major con to this anchor is the fact that if one piece blows out, you're going to have extension, okay? So the load is going to drop a ways. And if I am clipped into the anchor with a completely static system like this, or static tether, and one piece blows out, I may create enough of a load on the anchor that it's going to exceed the strength of what's left of the anchor here. A better solution is to make sure that your load is going to have some kind of a dynamic component in the system. In case one piece does pull out, there's going to be some dynamic capabilities somewhere in your system.